Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Kakwadash. Yahweh is the name of the Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be, Ba'in, Ha'adah, Sham, name, Yahweh Shai, be name of the God's Son, meaning He delivered, He saved, Ra'akwadash, Holy Spirit, double honors to the Apostle Elders, great most of well, peace and blessings to the collective Israel. Shalom, and above all, back at it again, when the lesson of the Spirit of Power, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Shai, Lord will exist and is edifying. And this is just a quick uh, tip for brothers who are trying to get into the Hebrew and learn the Hebrew, all right? One thing that you can do is you could write the Hebrew alphabet in your sword, okay? And um, here it is right here, the Hebrew alphabet. You know, yeah. some brothers don't like to write in their swords, so, you know, to whom this may apply to, you can write it in a notebook, get your little notebook or whatever. All right, and you can write the Hebrew alphabet in your sword. And this is the Hebrew alphabet. And what you see at the top are the uh, Paleo Hebrew characters. And then what you see below that are the modern Assyrian characters. Okay. And. With that being said, you know, this is a tool that the Lord put me on to through the spirit to uh, help me get better with memorizing the Hebrew. OK, I would write it down in my sword like so, so I can always refer back and look at it. OK, and uh, as well, I would write it. I would write like the letters like this, like Abba, Gada, Ha, Wa, Za, Ha, Ta, Ya, Ka, La, Ma, Na, Sa, I, Pa, Ta, Za, Kwa, Ra, Sha, Ta. But I would do it over and over and over and over again. So I would constantly write it down. It's like writing your ABCs. And remember, the Hebrew goes right to left, you know. So that's why you start to the right and finish at the left. So I would write the characters over and over and over and over and over you know, to repetition. And eventually I just got used to it. And then I would move on to the modern Assyrian characters, you know, which this is, these are the type of characters you're going to see when you open up the blue letter, but you got to convert it into the Paleo Hebrew characters, you see. And sometimes you're going to see with the modern Assyrian, sometimes you'll see two different characters, like for the word or the Hebrew character, Ka, you see that. And then you see the one on the bottom, the one on the top represents the word Ka, K-A, and the one at the bottom represents just the K sound, uh, represents just the K letter, the extra sound cut off, right? So like if you had the word Barak, you would have the Ba, you would have the Ra, and then you would have the bottom K, all right? Because the extra sound gets cut off of the word Barak, right? And then you got uh, like this Ma, which this is, uh, it's supposed to be the other way around. That's why I put the... Um, the arrows this is the ma character with the full sound and this is the ma character at the end all right but um nonetheless you have the na right and this is the extra sound cut off pa extra sound cut off right here you know taza now with the taza the, the sound doesn't get cut off with the taza but like let's say you have it at the end of the word like you have taza at the end of the word you would put this one you know, like the word arataza, right? Arataza, you have the word taza at the end, so or taza at the end, so you got this, the character taza, so you would have this one. Okay? But if it's like you start off with the word with the word taza, like taza ba, like which means host, all right, you would start with that, you know? So that's the Hebrew character. It's just a little quick tip for brothers out there trying to get sharp in the Hebrew, you know, because that is a part of our language, man. All right, whether, uh, you know, IUIC wants to believe it or not, or any other Hebrew Israelite out there. So you got a lot of people who, who are against the, the, the Paleo Hebrew, who are against the Hebrew. But guess what, man? This is a part of prophecy that we will be speaking the Hebrew. This is Isaiah chapter 19, starting at verse 18, going straight to the point. It says, Isaiah 19 and 18. In that day shall five cities in the land of Egypt, talking about here in America, speak the language of Canaan. What's the language of Canaan? The Paleo-Hebrew. Okay. 
and swear to the Lord of hosts, one shall be called the city of destruction. That's right. So we're speaking the language of Canaan. And in the kingdom, guess what? We're going to be speaking the Hebrew, man. The Paleo Hebrew. Let's get a precept. Zephaniah. Chapter 3. And verse 9. It says, for, I, for then will I turn to the people a pure language. That pure language is, is the word uh, Hebrew, or is, is, is the Hebrew, the Lashawan Kodash, the holy tongue. It says, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashmel Shai, to serve him with one consent. That's right, man. So that pure language is the Hebrew, man. You know, and you know, we're getting to, we're getting to get back. Um, you know, but we're going to, we're getting it back already, but we're going to get it back in this perfection in the kingdom. You know, even in the 1611, right, this is the King James Version 1611 edition, uh, it has the name of the Heavenly Father, all right, Yahweh. You know, that's the, the what they call the Tetragrammaton. You got the Yah, the Ha, the Wa, and then the Ha, but in the Paleo is Yahweh, and then the Ha character cut off. See, so that's what it is. You know, and you could even prove it with the chart. Ah, ba, ga, da, ha, wa. So you got the ya. You got the ha. You got the wa, and then you got the ha. So going back, same characters, you know. But um, that's pretty much the point. Just wanted to, you know, it just came in my spirit to, to talk on that, man. All right? You know, if brothers want to get this, is another advice. You don't have to take it, but you know, just a little quick tip you could do to stay sharp in the Hebrew. Just put it, put it right there in your sword, okay? And you can always, you know, as long as you got your sword on you, you know, the Lord allow. You can always look back and be like, oh, what's this Hebrew character? You know, and then even if you want to take it a step further, you can even write the uh, modern Assyrian characters under it, man. You know, so you can get sharp at that too. That'll help you. It'll be a lot easier for you when you read words out of the blue letter you know so with that i want to give all praise on and glory to yahweh about shimmy al shai about shimmy kakradash the bonus the apostle of this great muslim never well peace and blessings to the elect of israel shalom and a baba ball